Hey, we want to wish everybody a happy holidays, happy new year. Welcome to 2023. We've got a lot in store for this year, but this video is going to be short and sweet. Uh, last last video we had, uh, we we got a deer in the freezer. This video, uh, I've got a special guest. The wife is back. Hi, my <laughs> wife made it back, and guess what? <laughs> we have Starlink. <laughs> We are hooking up the Starlink, so uh, we're going to get that hooked up real quick, and then we'll uh, show you the results uh, on a speed test, what St Starlink versus HughesNet, so uh, let's get it installed. So we're going to see who can do it better, Starlink versus HughesNet. Now we've had HughesNet for going on two years now, and I've been on the beta program for Starlink for about two years now. And uh, just last month we got, or this month, we got the uh, Starlink in the mail, so we're gonna get it hooked up and do some side-by-side -side comparisons to, to see if, uh, if you're living off grid, which one's better for you. So I've got a big round out here right in front of our property. Uh, this thing's been out here for a couple of years, and we used the same thing for the HughesNet and had no issues with it rattling around. I ordered a, a different base for the Starlink, and we're gonna, we're gonna mount that with a lag bolt right now. This is the mount that we got for the uh, for the for the stump. Uh, I could have screwed uh, the stump's big enough to screw the four things in, but uh, we're gonna go with this since we ordered it. Now I had to order the, the, the longer cable, so I ordered 150 foot of cable to get it from the cabin out to the beach. So that's pretty simple. You just push that on this button here, pull out the old cable. We'll just plug in the new cable. We should be good to go. All right, I guess the rest of the installation is on the inside. We'll get that uh, plugged in and see what happens. One of the other cool features that Starlink has is that it will detect when it has snow on the dish and it turns a little heater on then melts the snow away that's pretty cool all right so we've got everything hooked up uh we let it uh do its uh thing for about five hours because it said that's what it needed to do for everything to to um look for obstructions and and uh you know just work it work through all of its systems so we're going to do some speed test on this and um we're going to test the hughes link first and then we'll test the star link all right so first we're going to do uh HughesNet. so let's get the speed test up and running All right, so this is for our old and faithful HughesNet. We got uh, 29 uh, megabits per second download and upload is four megabits per second. So uh, this is what we've been living with. And this has actually increased a lot in the last few months. We were down here in snail, snail uh, speeds, but now we're up in bicycle speed. So uh, good on you for increasing your speed, HughesNet. Now let's test Starlink and see what it does. All right, so as you can see, we've got downloads of 131 and uploads of 11 megabits per second. Uh, that's not the best that we've seen out here. The best we've seen was, uh, so here's a screenshot that I took. We've seen stuff up into the two, 220s, but um, on this particular day, we had 202. But um, so still 131 is excellent for us. So uh, as you can see, that's a lot better than HughesNet. And HughesNet has improved significantly in the last few months. We went from snail speed into bicycle speed. So we're really happy with that. But um, still, it just doesn't compare to what Starlink's been bringing to the table. So I think um, HughesNet is going to get the axe. We're going to stay with Starlink.
Uh, anyways, we I think we're going to do a Wood Stove Wednesday this week. We've got a lot to talk about. We've got to talk about my wife's plane trip, which was uh, quite the fiasco. If you remember the news during uh, the holidays when all this plane shut down, well, Alaska Airlines had a little bit of that going on up here too. So uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember, live free, and we'll see you next week.